Alright, this is Mofo See That, and today we have the Marvel Collector's Core October crate. This time it is Villains on my uh, October loot crate. I thought this was the Guardians of the Galaxy crate. Apparently, uh, I guess it's the next crate. Oh. It's hard to remember what's coming. Because, you know, it's every two months they give it out. So I got this after I actually did my Loot Crate review, actually. It's a bit of some dings in it, but it's still pretty good. And everything should be alright. So it's a bit of stuff. So I also had... Villains crate, there's two of them from Loot Crate, the first one and the second one. The second one was uh, recently. So let's see how it differs from um, the Loot Crate version. So in front you see there's Venom, there's a little bit of a market. Looks kind of intentional, maybe not. Looks pretty cool though, I have to say. It's banged up. And here, if you uh, this up. You can see the various villains, Venom, Doc Ock, Loki, Green Goblin, maybe, it looks like an earlier version of, Lo of Venom because it has more humanistic features to the face, another shot of Loki, and here we have, oops, time that back up, as always we have the pin Marvel Collector's Core. This is the Green Goblin. And ugh, the uh, badge you can sew on. This time it, it's the Red Skull. It could have been awesome if they had little Hydra things on the side, but no, it's just the more skulls on it. So, but that's fine. Alrighty, so put those back on. Don't fall off. Hopefully they don't fall off. And again, there's more red uh, panels inside. Ooh, shirt. Looks interesting. I already see what it is, but let's open it. Uh, it's another Funko t-shirt. There's two things. And I already spot some good stuff under the shirt, but let's look at the shirt first. Look at that over here. So this is quite awesome. Oh, let's see if I can actually straighten this out. So there's Venom, Alien Symbiote, Project Ultron here. It's only the torso bit. And there's a side view of the torso. There's Loki, uh, Gobby, as it's referred to here. Green Goblin, the pumpkin bomb, the Red Skull, and the Mad Titan Thanos, with the Infinity Gauntlet. So that's actually pretty cool. This is a nice uh, spread that I will wear. I usually wear. Uh, themed Loot Crate shirts and the Collector Core to any related uh, things like the, um, the Dark World, the Winter Soldier, the Second Avengers movies, all those, most like most of the uh, Phase 2 shirts or movies I've worn to. This one would be great for uh, maybe Civil War, because it has a bunch of, this will be more good for the um, Infinity War Part 1 and 2, because if Spider-Man's in it, just bam, 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 all the villains, that'd be great, it's fantastic. Now, now I'm looking back at the shirt here, there are the rest of the crate, here we have the Invincible Iron Man variant cover, it's a... Really nice. So, 
Invincible Iron Man versus Marvel Zombies. There's Modoc, Moon Knight, maybe. It's a bunch of villains. Again, it has the comic uh, backing to keep it nice and not uh, bent. So that's interesting. And here we have here we have more stuff. So I'm gonna stand up, do it from the side. So uh, like last time, there are Funko Pops. So these are similar to the Ant Man bobblehead. This is Venom as a bobblehead with a little keychain on the top of it. It's pretty cool. So like, let's check it because when I got the new Avengers uh, crate last time. You might remember that the new Thor bobblehead I got uh, Jane did not keep her head on. So I still need to work on getting that. But this one bobbles just as well as the mini Ant-Man one, which is pretty good. Cool. Put that back on properly so I don't lose it anywhere. And this one, there's the, um, of course, the Funko Pop. This is the exclusive one of Morbius. This is uh, number 104. And here, for Marvel Collector's Core. It appears you can either get one or two. 104 is regular Morbius, and 105 is zombie Morbius, where you can see more teeth. There's more angry. It's kind of cool. Let's open up Morbius, see how well his head holds up under pressure. Concert. Oh right. It's it might be a little bit angled, but I that's fine. That's pretty good. No problems with Morbius. On the other side, there is a very interesting thing as the final product offered. Opening it up and see what the hell it is. You can see by the horns on the that it's Loki. So let's take a better look at him. So this is the Marvel Collector's Core exclusive Dorbs figure of Loki. This is number 161. And the regular series this is series one. The first 12, so Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Spider-Man, Thor, Deadpool, Wolverine, Beast, Ghost Rider, Magneto, Mystique, and Scarlet Witch. This one is interesting. This one has an open circle on the back and front to see it both ways, so you can get a good look at what you're buying. There's Loki, part of Series 1. It's exclusive, so it's ranked so high up, so you can know they... At least gonna do up to 60. So, this is Dorbs by Final Sugar. Let's look at this. Double clam. Would you call this double clam? Because it's not like a regular clamshell packaging, but it acts like clamshell on these two points. I don't know what to call it. This is pretty cool. I think I've had. Dorbit's figures before. This is interesting. So you see his little hair. And uh, here, this is based off the movie version, of course. The head, of course, can turn it's stiff, though. It's very stiff. That's fine. It's good for keeping it. The 
cape is obviously separate from the main body. It's more of a shiny uh, plastic. It's a little bit like malleable, maybe a uh, hardened rubber or a soft uh, PCV kind of plastic. Definitely different than this. This is all like super hard plastic. Even the horns, even though they feel it to give. This is on pretty tight. Uh, let's see. Paint job. Paint job is pretty good and it's happy uh, Loki. Don't see. You maybe see a little bit paint chipping up the side of the helmet here. Not that noticeable though from far away. The applications on the main body are pretty good they're pretty clean um, the back side if you look at the back side they also has paint on it so they painted the entire body for adding in the cape here which is a very good effort on them even if they can never take off the cape you can see here it's copyrighted in Marvel the ID number the Funko number Funko website and made in China. So this is a pretty good uh, high quality product that they offered for this crate. It's very nice. I mean, awesome. So these are the offerings that they had. Um, it is in Compared to Loot Crate, yeah, it might be a little bit lacking in terms of how much you get, but um, what you do get is really awesome, and you won't be able to get anywhere. Stay on top of it. You won't be able to get anywhere else unless you would pay, like someone who bought multiple copies of this to sell. So, all in all, it's pretty cool. Um, the flagship of the company. So even though they do do this, they still have uh, given Loot Crate the okay to use their uh, products in it as well. So it's not like this is the only way you can get exclusive Marvel offerings. Though I am wondering if um, DC will get on the bad wagon. Um, to my surprise, there's been a lot of different crates that you can buy. There's um, anime crates I know on the anime something or other website that's just been created a couple months ago. They have a crate called Omasake. That just uh, got released this month. So that, that's something they're starting. There's something called a Pokemon Mystery Crate and the Dracula Dinosaur Crate. Um, if you want to check out more crates, uh, I think Pia has a lot of those that he gets. Um, and Loot Crate, Loot Crate has besides the regular offerings, have these the power up things, which I said. Which is like clothing accessories that I'm not really into. I'm gonna, uh, they have the Mass Effect and Fallout 4 uh, exclusive limited edition crates they're gonna do as separate. And now I think Loot Crate's gonna do anime crates now that's separate from the main line. I got it in my email. So I might be interested in that. I don't know though. Just, eh. But anyway. This is Mofo See That, and this is the October Collector's Core Villains Crate. Uh, check out the next crate, January's Crate, which should be Guardians, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that is actually Guardians. And next month's November's uh, Loot Crate, which will be Combat. It's Combat theme. That's the secret I was thinking of. So. Uh, until next time, guys, 
see you later. Check out any of my videos if you want to watch more of these.